Let's see. Well, we're going to go to one of the questions. And by the way, you can always uh, connect in on the text line. We may uh, use one of your questions in a future segment of Feel Good Friday. The text line is 781-837-4900. 781-837-4900. The message this week comes from Carl from Pembroke. And Carl says, uh, hi, Mark. I've been uh, maintaining a portion of my neighbor's yard. Uh, but but it looks like my yard from the street. I want to invest real money, but the property is not actually mine. What advice do you have? <clears throat> That's an interesting question. All right, so That's a great question. Mowing the lawn or something like that? Or you? Probably. So the the thing about it is, is, you know, most folks, when they purchase their property, they receive what was called a plot plan. Yeah. Uh, it's not a true survey, but it's from a survey company that takes information from the public record and verifies for a few reasons. One, has anyone put a shed on the property that may be encroaching on your neighbor's property, right? If you went ahead and you simply said, oh, this looks good. It looks like my land. I'm going to put this shed right here. And you find out that it's actually not fully on your property or somebody's actually encroaching on your property. But sometimes when you look at those, and you may remember this from the closing, it, it's an odd shaped lot. Some lots around here are randomly shaped, mostly in uh, in subdivisions. So in these developed planned subdivisions, sometimes the zoning requires certain things such as frontage, right? Mm -hmm. A certain amount of frontage. So they have to manipulate where the land lay so that you could each have the right amount of frontage. And sometimes it's a volume thing, so it'll split out in a weird uh, shape that you would have not seen since geometry class. But what will happen sometimes is by way of dividing up the land and giving a certain amount of frontage to your neighbor so they have the right amount of frontage, it actually looks like it's part of your squared off lot. So from the curb, right, which is the curb appeal, everybody's very concerned about the curb appeal, especially when they're selling their home or, or sh uh, showcasing their home, the curb appeal is very necessary. So if it looks like that is part of your home, you're going to want to take care of that area right there. Um, but it's not yours, right? So it could be potentially taken back. So you have two choices. One, you go ahead and fix it up knowing it's not yours, or you let it look terrible but it looks like it's on your land so you're kind of between a rock and a hard hard place so yeah, hopefully it's like this overgrown area or something and it's just, yeah yeah and it doesn't make sense and it's unclear why it's like that but it looks like it's on your land so hopefully you've already knocked on the door of your neighbor but it would definitely be a good time to knock on that neighbor's door now maybe with some maybe with some fresh baked cookies or or something like that um what do you so what, do you, what would you do i mean you tell them you know could you mow the lawn because it makes mine look bad can you say can i ha i mean you might not be able to get it because maybe they need it like you just explained well that's that's exactly the dilemma we're in right yeah. so you don't want to they probably don't want to grant you that they may think it's a good idea but at the end of the day they may throw their property into what's called non-conformity now so yeah. now they're not a conforming lot so one of the solutions um, that we encourage folks to engage in is an agreement where it's called an easement okay many people have heard of easements when they're sharing a driveway or there's an access to a dock or to an, a beach rights these are yes. easements okay um, and you can't park on them there it's a pathway the the utility companies use them it's a right to go onto your property and do something on your property so there's what's called a landscape easement so you could say to the neighbor why don't you grant me a landscape easement you still own the property but you're granting me the right to do what i want with it so now i can plant some palm trees there and not feel feel bad about it right because it's my right nobody has a superior right to use that now than me but yet i don't own it mm -hmm. so i think that would be a great solution for our friends in pembroke but okay. knocking on the door is step one there are people who say fences make good neighbors i've never really uh taken <laughs> taken credence with that statement but a fence would be a problem there right so if he no. if this folk these folks had an agreement for the easement putting a fence on there actually is not okay oh uh, 
So okay. let's let's we could do that in part two, maybe. All right, Carl. All right. Well, wait on that, and uh, hopefully you have that conversation. That might be the best start for you. If uh, people do have other questions about this and other topics, Mark Styles, Styles Law, how do they get in touch with you? The best is the old-fashioned telephone, 781-319-1900. I want to remind everybody that June 11th is the 8th annual Shred Show outside our offices on State Road 139. Shred Show. From 1 to 4, Saturday, June 11th. Come one, come all for the fun, the festivities, and the shredding. All right, that'll be fun. Mark Style, Styles Law on Route 139 in Marshfield. We do this every week on WATD. And don't forget, too, you can hear Mark as well on the Dr. Joe Show. Great uh, program last night on uh, Ukraine. Uh, it was a very, very special program last night. Got a chance to tune in, so great job with uh, Dr. Joe and the whole team. Thank you, Rob. All right, have a good weekend. You too. Have a great week, folks.